Okay guys, I'm back. Now, I had to go and find out what I had to do and it really is not obvious for Rick's part and there is a puzzle. And the one thing I hate is fucking puzzles that are just not easy to understand. Got a plug, thank you. Small wired tape device. It appears to have something recorded on. Will you play the recorder? Yes. My only concern regarding the new generator is the stabilizer. It functions perfectly under nominal conditions, but... It's still a problem under certain conditions. Look, with the generous budget, personnel, and facilities at your disposal, shouldn't you be able to solve that problem? Once complete control can be established, we will literally have the power of a god at our disposal. And it will all be attainable if you cooperate with me. The power of a god. How could I refuse? Right, I don't know if this is going to work, but I've got what the guy's code was. It might be the same, but then again it might not. Yes, it was the same. Right, I'm glad that's done. Now there's just one more bit to do. And I don't know where the code for these for this would be, but I, I don't know where it would be, for one. Right, that's... To be combined with the prototype parts 2A and the prototype part, pro protective parts 2B. And we've also got the other one. No, hang on. Um. To be combined with the protective parts 1A and the protective parts 1B. Right, there's now one more bit we need to do, and that's over in the other room. Remember that safe that I tried to activate, but I didn't actually know the code? And it's weird, you don't actually get told the code. You don't. It, there's no sort of hint, and I don't recall there ever being any codes for this particular place. And I've checked all the memos I can think of that I've, that I've actually checked. I've checked all of them, I believe. Now, this is probably maybe a quicker way than Gale's. But I, th I think what G Gale's way is just simply going to a, co a cold storage place, I think, from what I've seen on a, on a video, and collecting the parts. Can you operate the panel? Yes. Now this one, I believe, is th this is the code. Yep. Now, I would not have known that. I would not have known that. Seriously, I would not have realised this. It's not something that is of made obvious. The critical part to the stabiliser, it protect, protects the core parts from shock. The critical part to the initialiser, it protects the core parts from shock. I believe that's all we need. Uh, I think there's one more we need over here. Got the panel and this code is zero three. There we go. 
Now again, as I say, I would not have known this. It's not really said in any kind of memo or anything from what I can see. It's not actually said in a memo, like this memo for example. There's nothing in here. There's a few like notes about it, but Be sure to check to see what they look like. If you split the numbers that you use when obtaining the core parts and add zero to each of the splitting numbers, they will give you the pass numbers you will need when obtaining the other two protective parts. Be careful when handling the pass numbers of the core parts. How would you re how do you know that? See, I don't know how, I don't know how you how would you work that out in normal events. In normal circumstances, a no. critical part to the stabilizer it, it protects the core parts from shock. Right now we've got all this, we can now head to the room and place we need to go, which is back in that first room that I went into when I didn't do it right. There's no dinosaurs, and obviously this is this is a, a much easier route. It means you don't have to fight a lot of dinosaurs. I know with the other route you have a shitload of dinosaurs to fight. Just gone round a giant circle, I didn't do that. The device assembles the parts for the generator in the necessary weightless environment. It appears that critical parts of the generator can be assembled here. You assemble the parts you have. Yes. Now I believe you just have to guide these into the relevant place. Like so. Right, that's that done. Complete. Lovely. Assemble the listenizer. There we go. Lovely job. Parts necessary to the stabilizer control of the generator. The parts create the energy that is required to start the generator. Right, now that that's done, is there anything else in this room? Right, okay, now all we have to do is go back to the generator room. And I think this is going to now move towards the final fina the finale of this game, guys. So, I'm doing... I thought that was a dinosaur then. Now, I'm not going to finish it in this part. Um, I don't know how long this part's been going on for. Probably got a good 12... 15 minutes maybe um, and the reason why I'm no I don't want to go that way um, I'm what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these bits and then I'm probably gonna end the video and then push to the finale
Now, I'm, I do apologise for the amount of help I've actually given myself. I, I don't normally do that. I try and do games to, as blindly as possible. But I just find games that don't give you any kind of help or guidance incredibly infuriating. And it's just sort of like how I how I see it. It's just it's not easy. It's not it's not easy to understand. Right, we have to go to B three first, as you remember what what it said on the. Um, Little instructions there that I, that I that I conveniently wrote down. This is the initializer. Will you press the button? you need to activate generator. <laughs> Panel that activates the third energy generator. Operate it. Third energy area B2. Now we want to go all the way around here to where we activate that bridge. We go down here. Now we've got the correct part. We can put the stabilizer in here. It's empty. Now, this is the place to set the stabilizer. Or a stabilizer. Panel that activates the third generate and uh, generator. We operate it. Back to the control room and adjust the output or lower floor. Date. Third energy output is approaching critical point. Attempting to compensate. Okay, Regina. Adjust the power output to 
Maxim. Here goes. Just remember there's no turning back once it overloads. Then we won't look back. Crack that sucker and then go out with a boom. That's slightly good. Well, it's very kindly taking us to there. Then. Bastard Kirk. Right, guys, well, I'm going to call that video here, and next time we will venture on to the finale of Dino Crisis. So don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and drop me a comment. And I'll see you in the finale. Bye for now.